Hey, we're back with another lick of the week and continuing in the Scruggs series, uh, Essential Scruggs fill in lick ideas in the first few frets. And I'm just going to keep rolling the licks out, no pun intended. <laughs> Actually, pun is intended there. Um, let's keep adding on to another layer of this onion here, the Scruggs stuff. And what we're trying to do is play these licks back to back is just a rolling exercise so uh, I won't play anything for right now from the previous videos but what I want to do is continue in uh, a couple of single string ideas I know uh, the last video I think we did this uh we did that uh, single string idea let's add uh, another single string idea that you hear a lot which is another essential Scruggs idea and this is also a single string. And what's going on here with this lick is it, it, it's a lot of uh, repetition between the third and the fourth string because a, a lot of Scruggs single string ideas in the low positions tend to focus on the third and fourth string. So what I'm going to do here is either play two notes, a, a D and an E. I'm either going to do that or I'm going to do a hammer on. So it's really two variations. And then I'm going to play the open third. And then I'm going to do a push off from uh, three to two on the third string. And then back to the open third. And then back to the fourth string second fret. So it's kind of like a loop. that in with the other single string from the previous video then you have two of the really most common ideas and the hammer on on the third string could be extended in some situations you know you hear a lot of players extend that idea out and the same thing happens with it of variations of these licks to kind of extend them out make them last longer. Let's add another idea which is actually a single string banjo lick stolen from uh, Bill Monroe Mammon style. And there's a bunch of variation of this. So I'm hammering up to the uh, second to third on the four string hammer on push off and then back to the open fourth and then at some point I can go over to the third if I want to All right now again let's check it with a metronome this is about a hundred beats a minute of these licks sometimes it's better to start it on the offbeat one and if I slow it down it's eight notes and then obviously the hammer on push off becomes a sixteenth note mess with the durations a little bit depending on how you want to express the licks. Alright, so let me add these ideas into the previous licks and I'm just going to kind of roll around, not really try to think about what I'm going to play and see if I can string these together. Let me do it as eights first. All right. 
right, so we've added another layer. Now, there's some commonly heard variations on these ideas, and they revolve around this push-off. And you'll notice a lot of repetition with this push-off. This is one of the standard tones or voices, whatever you want to call it, for low position stroke style banjo. And there's so many ways you can express these hammer-ons. But the third string, uh, third fret, tends to be ground zero, if you want to think of it that way, for hammer-on ideas. Of course, when you capo, that gets moved up by the, the approximate number of frets. But So this is a, one of those universal ideas that you really need to get good at to get that traditional stroke style down here in the first few frets. Uh, now one of the variations on just the standard hammer, like some of the ideas we've already explored here in, in the videos, is to actually do an inside out roll. And this is a very common sound you hear in stroke style. doing a push off. I'm holding this A note back here and pushing off this B flat note. So I'm playing this note as a, a dissonant sound. So I'm going three, two, three, one, three, two, three, one. And how many times you want to do that just depends on how you want to express the lick. This is another lick that you need to add to your vocabulary because it's pretty well established that if you're a good scratch player, you'll be able to play that type of lick. So I'm, again, I'm going to run the metronome and I'm just going to roll through this. So add uh, those new licks in with the other uh, ideas we've talked about and uh, work those in and uh, try them in solos, try them as just random exercises like we're doing here and just keep adding another layer to that onion. We'll see you next video. Thanks.